All right, Cam, you're joining us tonight to talk a yeah. little bit about these ugly thunderstorms that we have had out there. You say they're going to continue throughout the night, yeah. but hopefully they'll start to wean off. Yes, we are going to expect it to wean off tonight and in in then overnight hours, but then we're going to expect more rain by, by tomorrow. So uh, welcome back, by the way. It's good to see you, you. back. First good day to back see from you. maternity leave. Well, you missed out on a pretty crazy week this week, Moana, but we are taking a look at our first morning radar and we are tracking some gusty thunderstorms out there, especially coming out of Osceola County. It's this line that's right over Keenansville and Yeehaw Junction that's pushing off towards the east northeast. So folks in Palm Bay, you'll be dealing with this in the next 30 minutes. Gusty rain and thunderstorms there. We're also seeing the rain and thunderstorms over Satellite Beach and Melbourne this afternoon. Notice the skinny green line that's coming out of this thunderstorm. This is another outflow boundary and this will collide with another boundary layer and that's going to enhance more showers and thunderstorms as we go through the evening. So we're talking about quite a bit of activity here as we go through the rest of your evening and through tonight. Seeing some winds of around 30 miles per hour with some of these thunderstorms moving through there at Osceola and Brevard County. Showers quickly moving offshore here off east of Mims. And we're also seeing a couple showers that just developed in Sam Sula. Again, thanks to the boundary collisions. And we are seeing that racing off to the east towards New Smyrna Beach out this afternoon and evening. We are also seeing some pop-up showers to the north here in Marion County near Citra and Anthony. As we go through the rest of the day today, an isolated shower thunderstorm up to the north. But I do think most activity will be along the I-4 corridor points east as we go through the rest of the night tonight. So if you have any outdoor plans, especially Orlando Metro points east, make sure you bring that rain gear with you. Notice as we go into around 10 o'clock at a lingering shower too, but we do clear things out in the overnight hours and temperatures right now. We got pretty hot today. Hit 92 in Orlando. We're currently at 90 in Orlando, 83 in Sanford, and right now 91 in St. Cloud. So temperatures still quite steamy out. If you're heading out to heading out to the Orlando Pride game tonight, we are expecting mostly cloudy skies with the game start, but by 10 o'clock a spot shower can't be ruled out. Overnight tonight, expect those lows to drop down into the low 70s. Highs in the low 90s tomorrow will be another steaming hot day. And once again, we'll be tracking showers and thunderstorms primarily in the afternoon. I think the morning time frame actually looks to be okay, but once we get past lunchtime, we'll start to see those showers beginning to pop up with that daytime heating and then showers and thunderstorms across the area around 5 to 6 o'clock. So the latest on Brett is that it's no longer a tropical system. It became an open wave out there. You can see just an area low pressure now in the Central Caribbean. Moisture from the system will head west towards Central America. So no impacts here at home at all. The latest on tropical storm Cindy now with winds at 60 miles per hour, moving northwest at 21 miles per hour. So it's picking up some speed here. It is still going to expect to move to the west northwest and gradually weaken as it moves towards the central and western Atlantic there as it interacts with quite a bit of wind shear. So neither of these systems, especially Brett, Brett's falling apart or Cindy will have any impacts here to us at home. So one more soggy day in the forecast and then look at that next week. We start to actually usher in some drier air around a 30% rain coverage on Monday, higher rain coverage Tuesday, Wednesday, and look at that late week. Low rain chances with highs in the mid 90s.